Salvador. Hi, Wendy. How you doing? Fine, thanks. Who are you? Yvette. Where are you from? I'm from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Uh-huh. Is and there a problem? No, I am a 50-year-old virgin, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> proud of it. I grew up in a very strict household. Okay. And I always wanted to wait until I got married, until I had sex. Right. And I just haven't met the right one yet. Okay. But I have, I get all the time that I'm crazy to wait until I'm married to have sex. How do I get the haters off my back? <laughs> well, all right. Are you dating now? No. Are you in love? Was. Have you ever fooled around? I made out like kissing. But you've never done anything never from the waist below? Correct. In your life? In my life. To God be the glory. I'm not judging yes. because I appreciate the Christianness of it all. Yes. But as a girlfriend, I'm judging. <laughs> I get it all the time. So, but you don't have to tell people that you're a virgin. I mean, now you're on TV. That's true. But, but you don't have to tell people you're a virgin. I mean, how you live your life is how you live your life. I mean, uh, you know. God, I would want to be friends with you, but we would never get past me asking you questions about. <laughs> Life. Yeah. Do you I have battery operated devices? <laughs> okay. No. No. Uh, bless your heart. <sighs> Shalom alaikum, Yashallah. This your brother, Mashada Menace, aka the Menace and Insurgent. And I want to um, welcome y'all to Empire and Preeminence Multimedia Productions. Before I go any further, I will give all praise to the Most High. I have with the Father, Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shai, pre and post incarnate to him in flesh, and the Father of the Black Triple Patriarchs of the Children of Israel. That's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I want to make this video as short as I can. Um, um, Y'all saw the video. It's very admirable. Um, it's, it's not much talked about um, in the black community because, you know, um, if, if you black, you know, whether you're a male or a female, you understand, it, it, you know, it seems like if you're at a certain age, uh, like this young lady right here, who's, uh, uh, at the age of 50, and you confess to the public that, that you're a virgin, people have dumb, stupid, dumb niggas and bitches, you heard me, uh, have, uh, 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 an idiotic uh, predisposition, a tendency and a proclivity to look down on you. You understand? Um, and then they, then, then they come up with some dumb shit like, are you gay? You know, oh, you must be gay. You must be, you, 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 you must be a closet homo. You know, because, you know, you're 50 years old and you have yet to sexually cohabitate of those of the, of the opposing gender. And uh, that's unfortunate, man. You know, um, it is very admirable to see a woman that age, you know, that's keeping herself uh, pristine and keeping herself immaculate, you know, for that right guy. Um, like I said, you know, cool, cool, kudos, kudos to her for that, man. And, and 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 Wendy is the last. Wendy Williams is the last person, man. You want to ask any you know sound advice from about how to shake the haters off? Uh, my advice to you, sister, is, is is to keep doing what you're doing. You know, maintain your stance, sustain your stance. You know, um, it's very transparent that you being a, a so-called virgin, you know, uh, makes you content. Because you are you 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 are you are one with that concept, you know you are one with your preference. You understand? Um, there's a, there's a lot of misconception on what a virgin is. You know we 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 like to look at the English connotation of what a virgin is. A virgin is really a woman. You understand who is young, but who's of uh, who's of that age to to engage in marriage with the opposite sex. So a woman can be 21 years old and has sex with five different men, which is called polyandry, by the way. You understand? Like Christ condemned the woman at the well, according to the book of St. John chapter 4. You understand? 
uh, what was it, verse, I think verses 16 through 18. Um, when when Yahweh told her, you have five husbands, you you had sex with five different men, and um, and that does constitute polyandry. Polygamy is allowed. Polygamy is not allowed. Polygamy is where a man can have more than one, more than one wife, as well as a woman can have more than one husband. That part is not permitted, but a, but a man can have more than one wife, according to the scriptures. All right, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Because this is not about polygamy. So please don't post a comment about that. Alright? Because I might I might say some explicit towards you. Alright? Don't mention polygamy in this comment. This is strictly me giving kudos to the lady. You understand? Um, it said A.E. Lock. I don't know what the heck that is. But this is uh, strictly me giving kudos to the lady. <laughs> Crazy old things, man. But um, this is strictly me giving kudos to the young lady who uh, who decided to go public and uh, make make a public confession that uh, you know she's a virgin. And like I said, it's admirable. And I think that black women need to take notes. You know, uh, shout shout and salute to to um. To, to all my black women out there who are saving themselves for that right man, you know, uh, because, um, you know, me and my Rama been talking about this for, for a while. I'm not going to say his name, you know, but we've been talking about, you know, uh, finally making that transition to, 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 to start engaging, you know, intimately in courting women, you understand, who are sexually inexperienced, you know, um, I mean, that's pretty much how, how it's been during the scriptures, during the biblical days anyway. You know, I know it's controversial, you know, and, and people might be feeling some type of way because I'm saying that, but, you know, it's just the way it is. You know, Sarah was a so-called virgin before uh, she encountered Abraham. Rebecca was a so-called virgin before she encountered uh, Isaac. Uh, Leah and Rachel uh, were virgins before they encountered uh before they encountered, uh, what's his name, Jacob. Um, like I said, everybody has their own preference, you know. And this is not me trying to enforce anything upon anyone. This, this, this is just this. This is my shot of menace. This is my shot of menace's preference. You know what I'm saying? So uh, once again, kudos to that lady, man. 50 years old, still maintaining um, her her witch majigam, her 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 immaculate stance. From the sexual standpoint, but but I wanted to say also that um that, that I believe the word for um a, a woman of marriageable age who's a virgin is alma alma. I think that's a more modern Hebrew way of saying. It. I think it's alma na. In ancient Hebrew, I'm still studying, so I'm still learning. And um, Bethula, I believe, is the word um in the context of a virgin who's yet to have sex with opposite sex and I believe the ancient Hebrew word is Bathwala something like that um, I got an ancient Hebrew handbook and it's been a while since I studied particularly those two words but um, but yeah man um, like I was saying you heard me um, she should get kudos man kudos to her like I said I want to make this video short and uh, it's almost damn near 10 minutes is a uh, seven seven minutes I, I don't want to make this video as long as as long like that but um i can't i can't stress enough man what she, what she did man was very commendable was very admirable you know and 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 and, and uh I'm, I'm glad that she said what she said to the public and once again my advice to you sister is to is to sustain your stance you know um you know it's very transparent that, that you're content, you know, you're content in, in being a 50 year old virgin. So you remain one with that, you know, uh, you remain one with that, you know, you remain, you maintain your composition, you maintain your decompression, you maintain your tranquility, you know, uh, remain one with yourself. Like what Yahweh Shai said, and I, and I apply this not to just martial arts, but I apply this to all life too. 
St. Luke chapter 21 verse 19 uh, Yahweh Shah says in your patience possessing your souls and you make sure that that that, that you stick to that deal you know you make sure you stick to that deal uh, uh, I believe it's Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 4 or 5 where it says uh, when 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 um uh, it says uh, make not haste without I, I think it says uh something like uh yeah I think be patient when when, when thou art in the lowest state so um don't consider the lowest state consider the highest state because like I said what you're doing is admirable and if a man really loves you he's gonna tarry he's gonna linger as as, as you know as much as you're lingering and tarrying you know so um and that, and that goes out to all my black sisters because I only I only dealing with my black women you know that that goes out to all black sisters out there you know uh, especially especially uh those who was born in the 1980s because I'm, I'm born in 1985 March 29th you remember I just made 33 so shout and salute to all my sisters out there you know um that, that that's keeping themselves, that's maintaining themselves. Because we gotta set the standard, man. We gotta set the standard in this just Hebrewish like movement. You know? Too many uh, fuckery going on, you know, too, too many fuck nigga shit going on. And we supposed to be the trendsetters. You know, we just as bad as the people in the world. So uh let, let, let's make it happen and um and and and, 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 and let's let's quit with the fuck let's quit with the fuckery, man. You know? Uh like, like like I said, the 2020 is right around the corner. And as I said in my previous video, you know, we have a chance as Hebrew Israelites, man, as a nation, man, to, 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 to reach out, to, to reach our peak, you know, to be paramount. The way Islam was paramount to black people as a religion, you know, um, in the 1960s, so with Christianity, you know, uh, let, let's, let, let's, 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 let's be paramount, you know. Uh, as a people, as a nation, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what we waiting on, you know? Yeah, we gotta make young ladies like the lady on, on um, Wendy Williams feel comfortable. You heard me. She gotta feel comfortable. You heard me. She gotta feel comfortable. And we can't make her feel uncomfortable because we as a care as a people, you know, because we didn't have the ability to 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 to, to maintain, you know, that pristine such an extensive period of time. So now you got your soldier hating on her because she able to prove herself to have more restriction and discipline, not to mention fortitude and strength and all that there, you know. To, to maintain her, her immaculate uh, circuit, you know. So so let 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 let's let's quit that let's quit that that job ass the shit that's going on. You heard me? Let's quit that deal. So like I said, we'll make it short. Um. Um. Hope y'all enjoyed the pithy commentary, the concise commentary. And uh, for that, I want I want to salute to my sisters again. You know who's maintained that pristine circuit? You heard me? Um, who's in their own little circuit, in their own class? You know, congrats to y'all. And congrats to the, to the young lady, 50-year-old lady, in that video. And for that, I'm going to say shalom alaikum. You heard me? And uh, peace.